Hi friends, welcome back to the Pragmatic Lopa. Just when I was wondering how to set my home for this year's Diwali in a different way, I decided why not try out my favorite theme. You know what's that? A beach theme. If you like, you can try this as a Christmas decor as well. In fact, if you can't wait for any specific occasion, fine. I'm sure everyone loves beaches and who doesn't want to relive the special moments spent by the beach side? So do try any of these for a beachy touch to the overall decor of your house. As including all the 7 DIYs in one video would have been too lengthy. I have divided this beach theme into two parts. I'll be showing you 4 DIYs in the part 1 that's in today's video and the rest 3 will be shown in part 2. The link of part 2 will be provided in the description box below so do check it out as well after watching this video. If you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe for more such amazing DIYs. So without further ado, let's start with the first one. For this DIY, you need one wide mouth glass, some assorted seashells and sand, either real or decorative. You also need decorative white sand, in fact, I only have this white decorative sand which I'll be using for another DIY. Instead, I got an alternative. For this one, blend white rice and use the rice powder. Keep both in separate bowl and start filling the glass. First I spread white one and then with the brown one. Spread unevenly, forming waves like appearance from outside. Keep repeating them alternatively till you are happy with its appearance. Now place the candle, spread sand on top and push it deep so that it's not visible from out. Now start placing different shapes of shells in a random fashion to give a natural look. You can very well appreciate here the wonderful waves it created. Instantly, I thought, why not add some glitter factor to it, which would also sparkle even in dark. So sprinkle glitters of your choice and enjoy. For this one, I used white decorative sand, glue, brush, pencil, scissors. You don't need exacto knife, it's here by mistake any photo frame of your choice and plain white sheet. You can write whatever you wish, maybe any of your favorite quote or specific to any occasion. As I was doing it on the eve of Diwali, I simply wrote Happy Diwali. In the same way, you can write Merry Christmas as well. Cut out individual alphabets. Once you have all your alphabets ready, Apply any glue like Mod Podge using a brush and dust it over decorative white sand and if you do not have, don't worry as I have already mentioned before, as an alternative you can use white rice powder as well. Repeat the same process for all the alphabets. Once you have all the alphabets well dusted with sand, you can place it on the photo frame in any manner you wish. Once you are finally done this way, either you can use it straight away, but as it is for Diwali, I wanted to add lighting effect, so use the string lights from dollar store. Carefully wrap it around the frame from behind and secure it using strips of scotch tape. Now you have your own customized, simple yet elegant frame to add value to any space of your home. To make this place card holder, which I made long time back when I had not filmed it, 
So now that I'll be using the same for my beach theme Diwali decor, I'll guide you through the journey of its making. For this, you will need a place card holder, white poster sheet. That time as I didn't have this golden marker pen, I had written the message with golden acrylic color with a brush. The message can be anything you can relate to or specific to the occasion. For making this card, I just traced out the speech bubble sign. You can keep it square, rectangle or any shape you want. Now cut it along the border. Once you have your card ready, you can write your message on it. Like I had written with acrylic color which would be much easier for you if you write with a marker pen. Now you can have your personalized card holder anytime you want. This wall hanging also I made before when I had not filmed. So let me quickly explain how I did it. I got this old thrifted canvas. It had some painted stuff on it but that didn't interest me because I knew exactly why I bought it. Painted two coats of brown acrylic color as you can see through burlap so wanted it to have a uniform color in the background. To cover it you can either use like this a single sheet of burlap or use any type of burlap ribbon. I had few scrap burlap ribbon left from one of my previous DIY project so just used it across the length of canvas. I needed 3 of them. I'll use this new canvas just for showing you the process. Once you cover with burlap at the back I used both hot glue and thumb tacks to secure but I realized there was no need of using both just with one of them would have been enough do not bother how it looks from behind anyways it won't be seen now from the assorted seashell fillers choose your preferred ones and fix it with hot glue in the pattern you desire this way you can use it straight away but for Diwali, I wanted some lighting. So randomly pierce the canvas with a long needle. Once you have covered most of the canvas, insert the lights into these holes one by one. Once you have inserted all the lights, this is how it will look from back. If you wish, you can secure the battery behind with strips of scotch tape and it's done if you love this project i would love that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and if you wanna hit that bell notification button feel free to do that as well to stay notified when i upload i would love to hear your feedback did you enjoy this video let me know because obviously I wanna take your opinions into consideration so I'll be able to make it better. Thanks a lot guys for stopping by. See you in my next video. Till then, take care. See you soon. Enjoy.